What's going on everybody? Coach Josh here from Colossus Fit, your fat loss and muscle gain expert. And today I'm gonna to be covering a topic that is near and dear to my heart. As an online coach with over 4,000 transformations, I get tons of people coming in, perhaps just like you, who have tried everything and they cannot seem to lose fat because of a hormonal issue. The good news is there is a solution and we're gonna waste no time and we're gonna jump right into it. So first things first is what is a hormone issue? Are hormone issues even real? And I'm here to assure you that they indeed are. And there are quite a few factors that can either be genetic and they can also be because of our behaviors. And what I mean by this is there's some things like hypothyroidism where your body actually has a slower metabolism and it makes the entire process of losing fat harder and it makes the process of putting on fat easier, which is not ideal. And this is something that is genetic. And there are ways to combat this. We're going to get into that. But just the same on the other side of the coin, there are behavior issues. So what I mean by that is with behaviors, we can do quite a few things. We can slow our metabolism significantly if we're really sedentary, we eat horribly, and we're just not living a healthy, healthy lifestyle. Our metabolism is going to be at a small percentage of what it could be as a result. Just the same with hormones like testosterone and estrogen. I can lower my testosterone like crazy by just getting horrible sleep, staying up excessively, eating copious amounts of food, doing no exercise, and being really stressed. I could bring my testosterone right down into the ground. Just the same, you can actually elevate and improve these things with healthy eating and exercise. So this is where it can be a bit of a double-edged sword. And what I really wanna start this video with is don't just assume you have a hormonal issue, get it diagnosed. The best place to start is with your doctor. Yes, it's not ideal. Yes, perhaps you have to pay for it. But by doing this, going out, getting some blood work and starting the legwork to actually understanding your body, you're gonna be able to combat what's in front of you. Because if we're just guessing, or if you're just using this hormonal issue as this golden reason why you can't see any change, that's gonna get you nowhere. But that's not you because you're watching this video and I wanna commend you for taking the first steps to actually seeing change in your life. And I just wanna also say it is what it is. We're all dealt different cards and perhaps you do have hypothyroidism and that is not ideal, that is not fun, um, but it's something you're gonna to have to work with and you're gonna to need to learn to succeed with it because the alternative is just getting worse, putting on more fat and ending up in a trickier situation. Now with fat loss, I don't wanna to spend too much time here because I have spent quite a lot of time breaking down the different hormonal issues that can exist. But if you want a free guide that makes how to lose fat easy, if you're confused on this and you're not sure if you should be doing a waist trainer, excessive cardio, working out, what supplements, how much protein, I cover all this in my free fat loss guide. It is totally free. This is my gift to you. I wanna see you succeed. So go ahead, first link down below, make sure to download that. Now let's continue on here. But once again, it's amazing the difference of what you can do by just first and foremost improving your lifestyle. And I also wanna ask you, do you have a lifestyle that you can say is truly giving you yourself your best shot. If you're drinking excessively, you're excessively stressed, your sleep behaviors are horrible, your eating is erratic, maybe you're great Monday to Friday, but the weekend you're horrible, it's hard to understand your baseline. And I would really challenge you to A, begin with the doctor, get diagnosed, and to B, commit to 30 days of just healthy living. True 30 days, being consistent with it, not just doing these sprints that perhaps you've done in the past where you have chicken breast and broccoli every single day, but actually understanding what health healthy eating is. And no matter what issue you have, insulin sensitivity, hypothyroidism, low test, low estrogen, PCOS, any of these things, healthy eating is gonna be something that is gonna be a positive towards that. And it's actually gonna help battle against that. Just the same, doing opposite things like having excess stress, bad sleep patterns, as I said earlier, these are gonna exacerbate the problems you have with your hormones. And if you do have a hormonal issue, unfortunately, you're dealt with a little bit of a handicap here, and that's gonna require you to be that much better and to really get to the root of the problem. And I understand as a fitness coach that eating can be quite difficult, it can be quite complicated, but I assure you, if it's something you work on, it's absolutely something you can improve. And a few tips I'm gonna give for you with eating right off the bat is eating, utilizing something I like to call the 80-20 rule. This is we're gonna have 80% whole, healthy, amazing foods. And if you have to ask me, hey, what's a good food for me? We all know the solution. We know what's good, what makes us feel good, what builds us up, and we know what makes us feel bad. So start there, have 80% really good foods and still entertain 20% fun foods because without balance, you're gonna get nowhere. If you've perhaps gone a really restrictive diet in the past and seen some uh, results past your hormonal issues. It's great, but if it's not consistent, it's not gonna get anywhere. You need to reframe your behaviors and your habits to be from just short-term fixes to fixes for your lifestyle because this is something you have 
and this is something you want to address and you're going to need to actually improve your healthier eating for the rest of your life and i think reframing it to say how can i have the most energy the most confidence how can i build my best physique and as i said earlier as you begin to do this and you do begin to lose fat and you do begin to see change in your life it's actually going to be easier for you and your metabolism will improve and it will give you more ability even for myself as someone who's put on a lot of muscle i'm able to eat a lot more food i don't suffer from any of these things myself but i've helped like i said dozens and dozens of people who have at all different severities but this is the first thing i recommend right off the bat second is regular and consistent exercise and this might be harder for instance if you have low testosterone or picos or things that really make it tough for you to get out there and get active like you want to it doesn't need to be all or nothing you don't need to be out there sprinting doing the most rigorous of activities just introduce more activity into your life in general especially if you're looking to lose fat for me, walking is one of my favorite things. Of course, having a dog does help me with that quite substantially, but even for you, just make a habit to get on a few 15 to 30 minute walks each day, and that alone is gonna make such a difference. Perhaps implementing a step goal, creating some baseline to your activity is actually gonna therefore boost your metabolism and allow you to actually eat more calories throughout the day while still maintaining a lean physique. So this is something I greatly wanna challenge you with. More activity, get on a consistent lifting schedule, and understand that there's gonna be some days that are harder than others but success comes from doing the things we want to do even when we don't feel like doing them if you want to get fit if you want to get healthy if you want to actually lose fat being consistent in doing this no matter how you feel just saying i'm going to get out there i'm going to get this done it's one of those things where it's going to be hard at first it's going to be so against what you're used to but by beginning to do this you're actually going to see some positive change that's really going to pull you forward and therefore it's gonna make it easier for you to continue to lose fat, to have more energy, and it's gonna combat what you're working against. Next up is supplementing. Now, this is probably the one you wish was first because this would be the easiest solution. If I could just give you a magic pill that would fix everything, that's probably what you'd wanna to lean towards. And I know people can feel this way, especially with low tests, they'll go out, they'll get TRT prescribed to them, uh, but the negative here is if you maintain those bad habits that nuked your tests in the past, you're really limiting yourself and your potential and you're gonna really feel inconsistent. You're gonna be so reliant on this. And that's why I do recommend trying to fix yourself first, really trying to address it from a position of health before going to external solutions. Unless your doctor seriously advocates otherwise, of course you wanna to listen to them first and foremost, but no matter what, what I'm trying to get at here is if you really make a commitment to live healthier and you don't need to do this all at once, but if you do this step by step, this is where you are gonna see some real progress and some real change. And like I said, you can boost your testosterone by taking a cream, a pill, or an injection, or you can increase it significantly by improving your habits, getting more sleep, having more rest, eating healthier food, having a balanced diet, exercising, challenging yourself. And to me, I would definitely choose that natural option. And no matter what issue you have here, even when you identify it, it's about working against it. And if you want help with this and you're kind of stuck on how to start or you really struggle to be accountable, this is probably the biggest tip of all because accountability is a secret metric that's gonna guarantee you to get where you need to go. Like I said, I have 4,000 transformations for a reason. I believe in my coaching so much that it's your success or your money back. I have a full money back guarantee, so there's no risk involved for you. So if you're tired of living how you're living, you wanna lose fat once and for all, and you wanna see real progress, check the first link out down below. This is gonna direct you directly to my coaching. No commitment, no obligation, check that out. And if you're serious about change, fill out the form, I will help you change. I wanna thank you for tuning in today and just know you can do this. I understand it's frustrating, I understand it's harder, but you can absolutely lose fat, implement these tips, get out, be consistent, and let's get it done. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash a like. That always helps us be seen by more people. The more people I can help, the more that makes me feel amazing and the more people that will feel amazing by being helped. So let's make that happen together. Drop a comment down below with any questions you have. I answer every comment. So thanks once again, peace out.